be a bittersweet occasion for you. Tell me about the decision to mount the steward. Well, yes, it's, 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 it is bittersweet, um, but the memories are, are intense. And so I'm reliving a lot of that. Uh, that's really deep down why, why I'm here. I want to I I um, chase memories. I want to see where we used to live. I want to see, see the school where we used to go. And I want to see the, the place where we decided we'd give up crime, you know, which, <laughs> which is really how we were, we were kids, you know. I mean, we were, all, we, were all, we were wild and we were all over the streets. So there came that point where we had to make that decision that it was either going to be that breaking the law or breaking the rules or, 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 or music. And, uh, and that's where it was. It is, it is bittersweet, so thank you. And how does it feel being back in Australia? Wonderful. Well, it's it's incredible because um, every time I come back here, it's it's changed and it's, it's it's changed into something else. I mean, for me, because we lived here in 1958, we, we arrived here in 1958. We were, lived in Sydney from the early 60s onwards, and for me, the culture is just exploding. It, it's it's not like anywhere else in the world. I was just wondering how you deal with the, the loss of your brothers. Is it through music, and do you still feel them on stage with you? Yeah, I still, I still feel that they're with me, and um, I, I very often think of their opinions when anything's happening. I think, well, you know, what would Rob say? Or, yeah, I know what Rob would say. <laughs> or what would Mo say? Yes, I know what Mo would say. And uh, so there's a lot of that still goes through me, you know. And uh, it, I'll never be really anywhere without them, you know, because we, we were sort of glued to the head. It was, our lives was like one life, you know, it was just really one been married for more than four decades, yeah. which in show business years is hundreds of years. Yeah. How have you, um, what's the secret there? Why, why um, do you well, think we, we, we laugh at everything. We, we, uh, we're really great friends. Uh, she's, she's my greatest critic. And uh, she's the one who'll pull me into line if I get out of line, you know. Um, she's a great lady and I love her, you know. It's, 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 it's a love story for me and it's a love story for her. But we're great friends, and, and that's really it. You get out of line much? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty tough on. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm difficult. You know, I'm difficult to deal with. In my opinion, in my opinion, I'm, I'm not. But everyone else is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find it difficult to keep your Um. Yeah. I do. I, do. I don't like being on my own, um, but I love to play and I love to sing. So it's. Uh, I'm just trying to continue on somehow, you know, because somehow life has to go on. Uh, but no, I, 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 I do and I don't. Maybe there's two answers to that. I, I do and I don't. You know, when I'm up there, I love it, and it's something that I've never, never gotten past. So you know, I got to get up there. You know. Was there ever a time, Barry, when you thought, well, you know? Without Robin and Morris, that's probably about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, right after we, right after Rob. Well, for the past few years, Rob and I really hadn't been very close. So I regret a lot of those things. Uh, I, I regret not trying to get closer, and and um, and I know he did too. But he lived in England, and I lived in Miami. So it was, you know, it was it was just how life goes, you know. And we were, um, brothers and sisters, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I um, yeah, I miss him.